Something a little slithery and slippery as we move into the rainy season. Snakes are on the move and more likely to surface in the oddest of places. Indeed, Luke Kim from the African Snake Bite Institute joins us to tell us what to do if you spot a snake. Luke, I have the answer. Run away. Save your life. Am I correct? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good step. Um, so we, we always tell people to, to back off, leave snakes alone, don't try and kill them or hurt them. But um, you can call a snake catcher. You know, in, in, we've got a, a free app called ASI Snakes. We have about 600 snake removers listed around the country. And uh, if you encounter a snake, you go into the app and you can find a snake remover in your area and they'll remove the snake and get it out of there. Now I was holding that, a, what, was it a red boa? A what, red-tailed boa. Red-tailed yes. boa. I mean, beautiful as, yeah. as it, she, lovely. he, s circling around my body, finding the warmth there. Uh, that's a, a, a domesticated snake, yes. safe. But what sort of snakes should you be wary of? What should we be looking at? What can we expect? Um, well, across the country? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, obviously our, our venomous snakes are, are the dangerous ones. Uh, there's different areas that have different snakes. So, I mean, KwaZulu-Natal, Durban area has got, got a lot, of, bad, a lot of venomous snakes. <laughs> uh, even the Cape, they've got a lot of puff adders, Cape Cobras. Uh, Gauteng as a whole doesn't actually have that many. Uh, Pretoria and a bit north, we start seeing some dangerous snakes. But Johannesburg, uh, other than Runkals, we very rarely see venomous snakes actually in, in people's properties. So, uh, so, Luke, are you safe there if it's, like, facing you? Oh, is, yeah. is it, is it, yeah. Are you safe? I mean, she, uh, as Jane said, she's a, a domestic pet. She's a, right. She's a pet snake. And she's a beautiful feeling. I mean, it's quite silky it and yeah. it's cool. No, it's, it's beautiful. And that little tongue going, flicking. Uh, <laughs> over not my the body. tongue. Now, um, so my mom lives uh, on the Vol, and the, the wrinkles have come back big time. And we hadn't seen them there for about 20 years. They were in hiding. So I'm just wondering, has the lockdown impacted them in any way? Because we were just thinking that possibly with not so many cars on the roads, they've come back or... Or, or, or has, there, has there been some sort of change that we should be aware of? I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure if, if lockdown would have much of an impact. I mean, it was a relatively short period, only six months, yeah. uh, where snakes can live. We sort of expect them to live over eight years. Um, but now, definitely, you know, temperatures are warming up. We've just had the first decent rainfalls across the country. Um, there's going to be a lot of food moving around. So there's going to be frogs, going to be rodents, mm. uh, lizards. The snakes are going to start coming out uh, and enjoying the warmth and, and the rain. Yeah. So, yeah, we're definitely going to see more snakes now in the next couple of months. And, and um, where usually do, you know, most households complain about suspic uh, suspicions around if whether they're snakes because I, I mean I've heard of you know friends saying either it's in the roof or somewhere like usually one of the most common areas that uh, they might be hiding um, that's quite hard to say so I mean generally houses that sort of border nature areas or, or larger plots of land they often encounter snakes um, and they can be anywhere uh, really yeah. so we get some of them we get in, in the roofs but often you know they're just under a fridge or underneath the couch in the kitchen uh, close to a door where they've made entrance um, so yeah, it, it really depends. Each, each case is quite unique. And what happens if you are bitten or say what, uh, one of your pets is bitten? So in South Africa, we have very good medical care for, for snake bite. Um, so I mean, even if you're in rural areas and, and you get bitten by a snake, you get to a clinic or a hospital and you're pretty much guaranteed to survive it. Um, Unless it's a mamba. Yeah, yeah e even with mambas. I mean, we're seeing symptoms taking up to about two hours to start really, really occurring. Uh, and generally, you've got enough time to get through to a clinic. They'll put you on a, a respirator or a ventilator. Mm. Uh, and they'll give you antivenom if it's available. If it's not, they'll treat you symptomatically. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's really, it's, it's not a big problem in I South mean, Africa. You, you're very much comfortable around the snake. Clearly you work with them, you, you're very comfortable, you know the different types of snakes. Uh, do you think there are misconceptions when it comes to snakes? I mean, I'm petrified just looking at it, moving, I'm worried about you. I'm like, are you okay? Are you safe? And you're probably thinking, come on, there's nothing yeah. to it. But do you think there are misconceptions when definitely, it comes to snakes? Definitely, definitely. So snakes are very defensive. They're very nervous. They get eaten by everything in the wild. Um, all the mammals eat them, birds eat them, and, and people kill them. So snakes are very, very nervous of people. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, if you're out in the field and you encounter a snake, they disappear very, very quickly, down a hole, into some rocks, uh, into the grass. They, they really run away. Um, so they're not running around, rushing over, biting people. They're not hanging out of trees, waiting for mm -hmm. people to walk under. They're really they're, they're avoiding people as, as best they can. Uh, it's just when they start getting cornered in houses or people are trying to hurt right. them or kill them, then they become defensive and, and they'll strike out. And, and, and tell us very briefly about the superstitions around snakes. I mean, you were saying yesterday in fear that you need yeah. to bring a white chicken. Yeah, to I, was, I was thinking of all the yeah. chicken or chicken they, or a cow. They, yeah, they're generally lucky, aren't they? I mean, they're considered lucky. Yeah, to see a snake in the wild is a, a really special occasion. They're, they're very cryptic animals. They hide away. Um, I really enjoy watching wild snakes moving around. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of uh, sort of myths and superstitions mm. about snakes. Um, I, th I think some of the best ones are uh, you have to kill a snake and burn it so that the mate doesn't come over and look, yes. look for it. And that's, that's absolutely not true. I mean, snakes are solitary animals. They live by themselves completely, except for in the mating season. They'll st sometimes pair up and, and you get two snakes together. But the rest of the time, they're, they're solitary animals. All right. Um, well, Luke, thank yeah. you so much for your time. Thank you for joining yeah. us.